Here I am on Jersey Marine Beach in Swansea, Wales, the United Kingdom. I'll try and describe how beautiful it is over here at the moment. This is absolutely uh, fantastic. There's no students here, and you can see the university coming into shot behind me. There's no students there yet. They came, they come in September. And then there should be some great activity over here. I hope the weather is kind to them. A nice Indian summer would be very nice for them to kick off their uh, courses. Their Well, it's, uh, I, I'll just keep quiet for a few seconds. Give you some idea how quiet it is over here. Absolutely quiet. You know, the uh, individual squawks of the seagulls over there. But, Let me spin around now and you can see for miles down there it, it, it is absolutely quiet. There are a few people there with their dogs but otherwise it's, uh, it's, it's just beautiful. The weather, it's warm, there's no wind, there's no people. <laughs> You know, fancy living on uh, living on uh, on something like this. You know, my house is just over by there. It backs up onto this beach. Jasmine Beach, Crumbling Burrows. I wouldn't wish to live anywhere else. Well, there's a shot of the university. Empty at the moment. The students leave in July and they come back in September. End of. And then it'll be eight months of uh, activity. Can't wait for it, actually, because they, they do present a, a lot of entertainment, especially on this beach. Well, there's a shot of the tide, which is way out. It's about a mile out. That's how far out it goes. And on my right there, big iron ore carrier now is just emptied of over 100,000 tonnes of iron ore in Port Talbot, going back to South Africa now to pick up another load. And uh, this shot now looking towards Britain Ferry. And just behind the mills there is Jersey Marine Village. Just walking along the little mini river that's left behind by the tide. This is where the residue of the, the sea the tide, when she goes out, it drains all off here and goes down to the end there. And then when it's dry, in comes the tide again. And it goes on and on and on like this every day. In fact, it does it twice a day here. This is where they want to build the barrage. Don't think that it'll ever take place. I can walk for miles and miles and see nobody, hear nobody. This is just fantastic. And the weather is so good, you know, end of October, August, and uh, it's 26 Celsius over here now, six o'clock in the evening. On my left, it's Swansea City and on my right is Neath and I'm right in the middle. In fact the boundary line is just over there. Well the sun is behind me now setting in the west. It's 7 p.m. in the evening. I think it's warmer now than it was at uh, 12 o'clock this morning. There's only a few people over here with the dogs.
we're going up towards the dunes now just to have a little look see what's happening there someone's made an effort and planted this looks like a sleeper railway sleeper well i'm up on the dunes now and you can see down there a couple of people with their dogs and i pan around just to show you the dunes huge area it's called crumbling burrows some of the wild flowers you'll find on crumbling burrows I don't think this is the apple tree there is an apple tree over here I don't know there's no apples here on it at all now this shot is looking towards Neath Valley and that hill there on the right hand side you years ago that used to be called lousy hill because nothing would grow on it it's bare but look at it now that's 50 years ago it's full of those trees because the m4 cuts its way through uh, just behind that hill towards Carmarthen. i could walk for miles like this On my left there, crumbling burrows and all the wildlife you want to see is down there. Just walk slowly. And on my right here, we've got Swansea Bay, Jersey Marine Beach, with the estuary of the River Neath just up on your right hand side, top of the picture. This walk on the dunes goes for for miles. You're not alone. Well, look at this. Someone has made a a campsite here. Underneath this huge tree i was thought that might have been the apple tree but uh, i can't see any apples on it and it must be some effort to hog these big bow uh, logs up here obviously a little fire going there and uh, how long did they stay here i mean you do you've got to consider that when you come to the edge here and you look down and that's over 30 feet drop don't think this camera is showing exactly the height we are here but to drag them logs up here it took some effort I uh, hope they enjoy themselves. They've left no litter anyway. Just take one more look now at Crumbling Burrows and that grey building in amongst the trees in the background there is the Amazon Warehouse. I think they call it a procurement warehouse. And now I'm going to make my way back down onto the beach with this path. It's pretty steep so Let's uh, have a go. Now I'm beginning to slide, but uh, got my balance, no problem. And there we are, down and back on the beach. So it gives you some idea of the height of that den, which is in them trees there. About 30 feet high right back on the beach now and i'm making my way back down to the university and home i'll keep the camera in standby mode just in case something happens so all i gotta do then is touch the back screen and we're live again so see you in a few minutes
Well, would you believe it? That just flew over my head. I'll have a sit down and a rest for a minute or so, hoping that Anglader will come back this way. Uh, I think he's gone off towards Porth Call, or he might even land in uh, in uh, St. Athen or by Barry there. But we'll wait around for a few minutes to see if he does come back this way, because um, Swansea Airport is behind me there, five miles behind me. And we're looking out into the bay at the moment. The tide is way out, about a mile out, but it's coming in. And it should be in about eight o'clock tonight. It is absolutely quiet over here. No wind at all. I see you in a minute. Well, I'm back where I started on the Swansea Bay campus promenade. It's the only campus in the world that's got its own promenade. And uh, we wait now for all the students to arrive in September next month, a couple of days. And uh, off we go again for another eight months. This is Paul William Harris on Jismarine Beach. Bye for now.